I know when everything is a dream. From the moment it starts to the moment it ends, I have I've ended it myself. I normally end up flying because it's the funnest thing to do. I just find like whenever it starts being bad, I just go fly away. Um, but um, if you know what lucid dreaming is, is knowing that you're dreaming. You always know you're dreaming. You, you're never caught off guard. And so I'm cursed that way. I can't enjoy a dream <laughs> and, and have it at least a good dream be, be real. But um, see, I am jealous. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I'm saying if I lucid dream about Choo Choo Charles, I'm like, he's still going to appear. He, just because I know it's fake, he's going to appear everywhere. <laughs> On purpose. I'm like, <laughs> See, I'm jealous of you. I've had lucid dreams, yeah, but I am not a lucid dreamer. Like, yeah. it's probably happened like ten times in my life. Mm -hmm. And when, as soon as it does, like, I know there's like a ticking clock. It's like three minutes before you wake up. Type. As soon as I know I'm in a dream, I'm gonna wake up soon. Yeah. And so I try my best to be like, boom, laser hands, blow up a tank, <laughs> yeah. fly to the moon. Like, I know it's like limited time to experience superpowers. Mm -hmm. I've done it. I'm trying to fly to the moon, but I can never get there for some reason. It's maybe because I don't know how far it is, and I don't know how to, I don't know how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> My brain doesn't have the the, the the graphic capacity to generate. The moon. I can't render. I can't render the moon. <laughs> you got to get a new graphics card. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Paul? You haven't, you haven't played Juju Juju uh, Charles. I haven't played Juju Charles. I, I remember. It looked it looked fun and funny and kind of interesting and weird but i i liked it um if there's a demo i'll probably give the demo a try because i was curious enough that it uh, yeah, give it a shot i should play it and do you think we will get zelda ports this year take it away zach what do you think i want all the things zelda so i'm going <laughs> to say yes yeah i really 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 would like honestly like i understand ports are work yeah. But if you're Nintendo and you know you have Wind Waker, it's like, oh, yeah. We yeah. have a port that we literally can do with zero effort. So I really hope so. I it'll think be, we will. It'll be so awesome if, if, if Wind Waker comes out before my stream starts. <laughs> that way I can just play it on Switch. That would be so sick. Wait, Paul. <laughs> I used to be, and I still kind of am, but I used to be on the thought of, you know what, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are safe bets of games that you could drop in on Nintendo Switch during a little bit of a slowdown period. Kind of like what we're in now. Mm -hmm. Actually, not really. I take that back. We're not really in a slowdown period. I mean, we've got like another code recollection, Mario versus Donkey Kong, uh, uh, Endless Ocean, Luminous, Princess Peach Showtime, and... Luigi's Mansion HD 2 and Paper Mario Thousand. That's six games in six months, folks. That's not a slowdown. That's fantastic. That's Nintendo. That's regular Nintendo. That's the, the, the next six months are perceived to be slow because we don't know, right? Yeah. But I, I always thought, like, a Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, they're done. They're Wii U games that looked good. More so, perhaps, Wind Waker than Twilight Princess with the amount of effort that was put into it. But... Now we're so late into Nintendo Switch that I'm like, maybe, as we said on the podcast you know, a few weeks prior, the gap has been longer between Wind Waker on Wii U to now than it was on GameCube to Wii U. So they could just hold on to it and make it that much more significant of an upgrade by using that same strategy that I just said, use it for a lull period, but not in Nintendo Switch, but in Nintendo Switch 2. So Wind Waker, nope, we're not getting for another three and a half years, and that's going to be sometime in Nintendo Switch's Nintendo Switch 2's third year. Yeah, right there, put in the Wind Waker 4K or a Twilight Princess 4K, and it's a bigger upgrade than it would have been right now because it's even further time. So like, I'm, I'm kind of tossed between that, but I do think something Zelda's coming this year, regardless. If so that's it's not happened. Wind Waker and Twilight, I'm uh -huh. going to say we're going to get some kind of Zelda port or some type of something Zelda related this year. And I, I switched to the next question, and as I switched, you were just answering it. <laughs> Do you think a Zelda game is coming out this year? <laughs> and you just answered it just now. So Yeah. And um, uh, I see that Zach is enjoying the music. Yeah, I was just thinking, I was like, dang, Mike, this is a vibe. 
this is uh this is this is a new a new platform. Hopefully we'll we'll, we'll you know we'll get a little more to it. I'm enjoying the music too. It, it creates a better environment. So, um, so what do you think, Zach? Uh, another another we we talked about what was the last question? A brand new Zelda game this year? Uh, do we get an, a, a Zelda game here? Any Zelda game? Port for Zelda game. Yeah. yeah well, I'm. Like you said, I already think we're getting a port at the very least. Okay. So, yes. I think Zelda is what Fire Emblem is to Nintendo Japan. I think Nintendo has realized that Zelda can be that to Nintendo, period. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, we, we, we would have gotten a Zelda game every... Well, actually, we did get a Zelda game there almost every year. Tears of the Kingdom, the prior to that... Uh, we got, uh, I can't remember the prior to that one. We, I, I don't think we got a, a Zelda game in 2022, right? No. No, but the pandemic did kind of mess with everything's release yeah, schedule yeah. for a couple of years. So, yeah. 21, 22 yeah. are kind of weird years for everybody. I also, I also think we're going to get a new Zelda game. I hope it's not the Ocarina of Time remake. I want that for Switch 2 because that's a big game. And if, and if you're going to, you're going to bring up a big game like that and give it a remake, it's one of the, I think fan favorite games out there, and I think they should give it the the, the, the Final Fantasy remake treatment, where you're yeah. bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back better, bigger than ever, but bringing up bringing on Switch Two and make that game and Switch Two exclusive, that will drive people who wanted to play that replay that game, where maybe that the the newer whatever uh, brings on Switch Two. But I hope we do get a port this year. I also hope we, we, we get a remake, but like a smaller remake, like oh uh, like. Um, Oracle Season, Oracle Ages, A Link to the Past, those type of games in the Link's Awakening kind of looking theme, little TV character that I love so much. Um, I hope that that comes up to pass. Even if it's uh, one of those, a remake like that, but doesn't have to look like Link's Awakening, maybe a new art style, you know? But, you know, a top down Zelda, just like that one, it'll be cool. Um, so, yeah, I do think this is Zelda coming this year. I do think so. And we'll just have to wait and see if Nintendo uh, listens to. I think I think Nintendo watches this podcast. Hi Nintendo, if you're watching, hi, hi, hi Dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me highlight a, a, a comment here from from our co-host Joyce J. Joyce J. I'm still Team 2024 reveal and Team 2024 launch. Me too. I uh, for Switch two. GameCube 64 Entertainment System. <laughs> Any that's that's the Nintendo that that's the new name. Switch Two Pro Switch Pro Switch Pro Two Cube 64 Entertainment System. Dot 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 NES. So that's the the new name. Joshi just created a leak here. Um, no. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Right. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, let's see here. Um, blah, blah, blah. All right, uh, I think we have another one here, and I think we'll end with this one. All right, what do y'all think about the Grounded Switch port? The opening cutscene was rough, um, but the gameplay is good. Last time I played it, it was when it was on in Xbox Early Access. What do you guys think? I, I haven't played it yet, haven't seen it. But what do you have? You, have any of you um, downloaded and played it? I, I haven't, but. I'm glad that it exists on Nintendo Switch. I think it's a good fit, and glad that it's been brought over. Hopefully, it runs well. And yeah, I, I I have Game Pass, so I I, I just don't know whether, whether I, I should you know you know get it on on, on Switch when I can play it on. I I, I feel like it will give me an event, an, an opportunity to turn on my P, my PlayStation my my Xbox Series X, which is not being turned on very often, which is not good. So at least for that. And and I, I'm 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 trying to to turn it on because I bought I bought WWE um, the latest WWE game I bought it on on Xbox Series X and then I bought and then I have Spider Man to play on PlayStation so I have my I have Spider Man and I have uh, um, Horizon um, Horizon Horizon games on on the on PS5 so I got my games on each system that I want to play I I know I can play. Uh, the NBA or WWE and other systems, but I want to just I want to give some Xbox love and, and, and turn it on. Uh, but yeah, grounded, not yet. Have not played it, not and hopefully I'll try it soon. And last question we have here by uh, Tyler's Gaming Hub. To be honest, I feel like if they save Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, 
they should give us Wind Waker and Twilight. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, if if they do, hey, it, you think if if they actually make an Ocarina of Time remake? They would follow up with with Majora's Mask, or would they just make it one big game, or they will make uh, Majora's Mask DLC, or what do you think? That, that's a good question. Let me just throw it out to the, uh, throw it out to you guys as the last question for the for the podcast. I think Majora's Mask is big enough that it warrants two different games, and especially with how ambitious they could be, mm-hmm. they could be more ambitious and make it even bigger, like in scope. So. I, I would think if you do Ocarina of Time, then you could go into a Majora's Mask one also. I don't want to see that moaning 4K. <laughs> yeah, there goes your lucid dreams. <laughs> That's horrible. What, what do you think, Zach? Yeah, I could see Majora's Mask because it's mostly in another world. So that way it doesn't really affect, uh, you know, like yeah. there's no, there's no fans having their 10 million arguments about where it is on the timeline and what this affects and who this implicates. It's it's all in low rule. People say that, Zelt, that Link just died and went to hell. <laughs> and, that, and, the, and, and Majora's Mac is, is all this takes place underground. Like, you, know, you know, I'm like... No, that Link becomes an adult and then becomes a Stalthos. There you go. He becomes a skeleton later. You have to... You, you, do a quest for him in another Zelda game. Yeah, in Twilight Princess? That's the one, right? Where you have the Link Stalfos? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. That is the most tragic character of all time. We'll talk about (laughs) that later, though. Anyway, I think that has been an amazing conversation we've had today in the podcast. I want to thank Paul Gale Network and Zach the Hendrix. Zach the Zach the Hendrix. (laughs) For being here, I also want to uh, a huge shout out to Joyce J in the chat. She is recovering from surgery. She should be back with us um, next week. And of course, uh, um, um, our other newest podcast host, Lily Hyru, as well. She had something um, last minute come up. She will also be with us next week. So we should have a full cast by next week. And uh, yeah, that's it for the podcast. Paul Network, Paul Gill Network. What do you have going on this week and where can we find you? I am Paul Gale Network on Twitter slash X and on YouTube. On YouTube, I recently put up my you know, live reaction and discussion video on uh, the Nintendo Indie World Showcase, which now is a little bit old news, but if you wanted to, for whatever reason, watch along with me and see what I thought live, mm-hmm. then that's that. And over on X, uh, the recent thing that I put up was some new stats coming out of Japan, Famitsu sales. Yet again, for another week in a row, Nintendo Switch sold more units in the last week in Japan than it did last year in that respective week. And it's done that a few weeks in a row now, which is kind of wild. Mm. And it makes you wonder, if it's selling 76,000 units a week in a place where so many think, dude, everyone already has a system, right? Nope. Then why why are you rushing for a new system if it's still selling that well? So... Anyways, Twitter and X, YouTube, I'm at, at Paul Gale Network. Awesome. And going over to Zach, the voice. Hendrick. Found it. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> what up, everybody? You can find me at on uh, Twix, a.k.a. Twitter slash X, at Young Calf Zach and pretty much everywhere else at Zach Hendricks Media, including here on YouTube. You can also scan the QR code thing and that'll have all my stuff. But I am actually live on YouTube right now because I do the post podcast party, aka I play Smash with you guys. So when this video wraps up, that is exactly where you will be able to find me is over on Zach Hendricks Media at YouTube running some smash. And you guys are more than welcome to join. All right. Thank you, Zach. And of course, you can find me here at the Odyssey Monday through Friday. And of course, here on Fridays for on Atomic Podcast here live. Uh, let me go ahead and go over the the uh, the poll really quick here before we end the podcast. I put a poll up 
in the in the uh in the thingy on uh, whether in the podcast next podcast should we take live calls live call-ins that way you guys can call in and become part of the conversation and you guys guess what you guys will be recorded within the podcast as part as one of us and also when the podcast goes out to the major podcast um areas then you also be part of that podcast there too so right now look at the, look at the, the the it says would you like to be part of the podcast um colin 50 50. and there are 30 people that voted so 15 people in the chat are like yeah i want to be on and 15 are like no nah, i don't want to be on <laughs> exactly and we got and we, and we have 41 viewers on youtube anybody want to break the break the break the tie either 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 with or or, or not <laughs> <laughs> Right now, if, if, if it says 50-50, what I'll do is I'll say, you know what, it's a, it's a close call. So I'll leave, it up. I'll leave it up to you guys. You know what, let's just leave it at 50-50. <laughs> that is just hilarious. You guys, are, you guys are trolling me, and I understand, because I see you guys laughing in the chat. <laughs> well, that's cool. I love you all anyway. You guys are amazing. All right, so that's the podcast, my friend. There we go. That, it, oh, did it break? Did it break? 32. 32 or voted yes. Okay, so we have uh, a yes then. Okay. 17 people calling in. Let's okay. go. All right, we have 17 people calling in. I mean, you don't all have to call in. Would you like to see your friends call in? <laughs> or anybody else? All at once. It's a big group chat. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, look, right now we have uh, 90 watches right now between Facebook, Twix, uh, YouTube, and uh, to, uh, to what's the other one? Uh, oh, I know you said that. MySpace. No, my Twitch. Twitch. I just I said Twitch. No, you said Twix. I did. I did. You're talking oh. about Twitter and right? right? All right, yeah, Twix. Twix. Twitch. Yeah, the Twix Twitch paradox. So That's thank awesome. you, everyone, from wherever you're watching from. You are awesome. Before we let you go, we got two things we let you know. What two things? Two things. Okay, count one. Two, one, <laughs> blue. <laughs> Never give up. And number two, Paul and and, and, and Zach at the same time. Journey on, journey on, journey on, guys. Uh, uh, let, let me cut that music off because I, I I I got my own music that I want to end with, and it's this one. All right, that has been the podcast. You guys are amazing. I we will see you. <laughs> next friday here at the same time same hour peace bye, bye. Big podcast, all things nintendo
There it is. Okay. We are here. We're going to get rid of... You guys can hear me, right? Oh, no. My music's not here. All right. Can y'all hear me? What happened to my video? Oh, 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 there we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so it's this one. Where's my little dude? He is gone. And then let's get this lobby going. Hey, welcome, welcome, Kool-Aid. I'm going to turn my camera in a second. I know it's backwards. Password is 1111. I will pin that comment. Create arena. All right, we got CQ7F8. Okay, let's put that in the chat. Arena ID CQ7F8. One, 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 pin. Now let's pull up my music because that went missing and that's not okay. In topic podcast and boom, we should be in business. Yup. And I'll mess with, oh my gosh, there's three of y'all in here already. Let's go. All right. I'm going to, now that I got that going, let's turn this camera it might freeze for a second, but we actually got a camera this week. That's what I care about. Hey, it didn't freeze. Too tall. See if that works for now. Drag this under there. There we go. And all right. That works good enough for me. Pull up. I came straight from work. If you guys caught the Nintopics podcast, you would know I was streaming from in my car up until the very end of that. So because of that, I have nothing set up. I have been in Chicago since yesterday. And so thankfully I set up this stream on Wednesday before, or Thursday before I, no, I set the stream up Wednesday night and then I left Thursday morning and I'm just now getting back. which way do i need to move the camera this way for me to be on it there we go all right tyson let's rock and roll welcome welcome everybody welcome to the stream i gotta get better at the the uh what's it called the transition from the nintopic podcast to the smash stream but we've made oh my arena id and password are wrong i'll have to change that in a minute the arena ID and password are the pinned message in the chat. The one over here 
uh, is wrong. I have I need to update that. That's from the last stream. I shouldn't have risked it. I got greedy. What? I was holding up. Let the record show. I was holding up. Not sideways. Thank you. Oh, I thought you were going to try and roll the other way. Oh, that's game. Well played, well played, well played. All right, I am going to correct the stream title. Or not title. The uh, description. Hey, OBS, please open. Thank you. Boop. There we go. All right. All right, you guys are good to start this battle. I am. There we go. Now I'm centered. Ready? And I have not had a chance to get to the comments just because of how this started and me walking into. Like I said, if you were at the Nintopics podcast, you know I spent the first hour and a half that I was on there uh, in my car streaming from my phone tied to my mirror. Oh, what happened? Why is there a shield break? I heard the noise. CQ7F8. Hey, there we go. Pull that back up. Get this. All right. What up, chat? I am finally ready to. Man, y'all are keeping it popping in here. Hey, what up, Daniel? We got Cloud9, Rainbow Love, Daniel, Brian Lee, aka K Fox. And Tyson, I said hi to you at the beginning, but I will say hi to you again. My dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Car stream sounds hot. Yeah, it was hot because I had the heat on. Uh let's see here, let's see here. Yeah, I was working a conference. I was doing the A V at a Oh, and just like that, Tyson takes the victory. It was, uh, it was like bo normal, boring stuff. Was it, uh, antitrust and innovate? Not, it was antitrust and something or other conference about monopolies and AIs and tech and all that stuff. 
but I had like a 13 hour day yesterday plus my like three hour drive because of traffic and then went straight to sleep you guys are good to start this battle got up at like 5 a.m started my day finished the conference drove home while driving home joined the nin topics podcast and then from there uh, here we are so i have been non-stop since like 5 a.m yesterday weather's pretty good it was it was 60 here today how y'all doing how was your week how have you been since last stream? Nice. All right, Tyson only, or Tyson at 90%, 96%, 115, Daniel at 30, Bo. 51 for Tyson, 123 for or 123 for Tyson, 74 for Daniel, 130 now for Tyson, 141. And just like that, Daniel takes the first stock. Tyson now fighting to avoid the three stock, of course, is looking pretty likely with Daniel at 110, but we have seen crazier victories and defeats on this channel. Oh, thank you. That should be better. Yeah, I was recording voiceover right before I left, and I was using this uh, interface, and so I had it turned down because I was in my booth. Yes, we are going to become a well-oiled machine in the next couple weeks. Eh, give me a month. Give me, give me, give me five weeks, and these Nintopics podcast to Smash streams will be a very well-oiled machine. The sound will be perfect. It'll all be plug and play. Game's a bit quiet. Well, we can change that. Yeah, OBS recently dropped. Yo, with the Meteor Smash, it is a one stock game. Both players basically at a brand new life. Yeah, OBS recently dropped application audio capture. So instead of running everything through my desktop audio, I'll be able to capture the Spotify individually and control that in the stream. I'll be able to capture... The, I mean, I already captured the game, but basically I won't have to do desktop audio at all anymore, which is what I desperately want. And just like that... Daniel finishes off Tyson for the win. Well played, well played, well played. All right, we got Caitlyn versus Tyson. Legend TMP versus K Fox. You guys are good to start this battle. So yeah, what'd y'all think about the, the indie showcase? Nice, nice. Didn't watch it, but got some games at a discount. Yeah, I had no clue what happened in that showcase. They filled me in a little bit, but they were basically done talking about it when I showed up at the podcast. 
Ooh, good dodge, Caitlyn. Yo, Mushman! What up, Aiden? How you doing? Just like that, Daniel takes the first stock. Of course, Caitlyn has driven his link up to 78%. Oh, good dodge there to get away from that bomb. It wasn't technically a dodge, it was a jump, but yeah. Caitlyn trying to get that first stock. Daniel at a high 150. 87 now for Caitlyn. Trying to avoid that bomb boomerang sword combo. And just like that, the three stock is off the table. Both players now at two stock. Of course, Caitlyn at a high 116, 127 Daniel, to Daniel's three. However, we have seen crazier comebacks. Caitlyn down to one stock. Right? And more importantly, why would Sheik ever fight Link? Like, dang, Zelda pissed. What Link do? That's the real question. What did Link do? What didn't Link do? And using the bomb, Daniel prevented the comeback from the side and takes the game. Well played, well played, well played. Oop, my phone be phoning. I'm gonna turn that down. Yes, I am. And after this game, I'm going to handle some stream stuff that I need to set up. Not just stream stuff, but I've been gone since yesterday morning. Uh, so I will put my little avatar up, and I'll probably be gone for like a game and a half. But either way, you guys will have a game and a half to watch or two. Oh, it's time the dragon's breath. Oh, come on. Nice block with the sword. Nice meteor smash, and just like this, I'm trying to avoid a three stock. Please get out.
Good tack. Well played, Daniel. Well played. Alright. Yeah, you guys keep playing. I'm going to handle some stuff. Because like I said, I've been gone since yesterday morning. Walked in and said, let's stream. Actually, I streamed. I started streaming before I walked in. But, yeah. So you guys keep playing. Give me one second to put myself in spectator. So that way it won't cycle through to me, but we're still just going to put it there. All right, you guys are good to keep battling. I will be right back. OBS, boop. Turn on my avatar, turn off my...
Hey, just in time. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yo, tall guys, welcome, welcome. Or tails guy. I was like, wait a second, tall guys. Sounds like tall guys. Good, good win, Daniel. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, y'all are good. How you doing today, everybody? How you doing today? Hey, thank you guys for dropping those likes. I see we are at five likes on seven concurrent viewers. That's a solid number. All right, you guys are good to start this battle. Ready? Ready? All right, we got Caitlyn versus Tails. Let's go some Pyramithra action. Both players exchanging blows back and forth. Caitlyn, though, now up to 72%. Tails sitting at 26. How far behind is this? There we go. Caitlyn now down to one stock. Tails still at three. Caitlyn fighting to avoid the three stock. Oof. Uh, will Mithra or Pyra be able to make it back? Let's go. Caitlyn trying to take this three stock off the table. Ooh, almost sniped with the Ray of Punishment. Let's go. Tails now up to 71%, 78%, and the three stock is off the table. Caitlyn now fighting for the comeback. Can she do it? Y'all can tell my commentary is a little slow. You can tell. I'm exhausted. I'm just like, I'm just like this. Little... And just like that, it is a one stock game. No matter how tired I am, that is hype. Caitlyn went from down to one stock to going for a reverse three stock. But Tails says, okay, this has gone on long enough. We're just going to go a little wombo combo. Wham, bam, kapow. And get the win with Lemmy, who looks kind of like... I don't know. Doesn't it look like how he'd sound? Anyways. Good game. Good game, both of you. Oh, it looks like Tyson made a new Discord link. What a legend. What a legend. You guys are good to start this battle. Mm. I have been going non stop since Wednesday. Three, two, one, I have to do some some uh 
photos at a prom tomorrow. But then after that, I have Sunday off. And you best believe I'm going to spend it sleeping. Yeah, I ate, I ate in the car when I was uh, driving back. They also fed me today, too, at this conference. Both players fighting for that first stock, and Tyson takes it with a reflect of the cannonball. Tyson goes for the Meteor Smash and gets punished. Both players right around 60, 74 now for Tyson as Tails takes the percentage lead. And Tyson takes it right back by driving Tails to 75. Ahead by 1%. Tyson now gets hit by Tails up to 104, 123, and stocked. Tails up now a whole stock here. Tyson with a solid ledge defense and KO. And just like that, it is 0%, 0% on the final stock. It is as if these players had just started a one stock game from the top. Let's go. We're going back and forth. I'm trying to do the commentary still. Even when I am exhausted, I'm gonna give I give you guys my all. Just like when I go to the farm or when I go to the grocery store to pick up some fresh memes. What? Ooh, oh, that did not work like Tyson thought, and it kind of gets reversed on him. And just like that, Tails wins. Well played, well played, well played. I think it's me? No, it's Aiden. Then me. Good games, fellas. Good games. All right, Aiden Tails, you guys are good to start this battle. Ready? Let's go. We got Lemmy versus Banjo Kazooie. Three, two, one, go. Aiden strikes first, doing dealing first damage. But Tails answers back. And just like that, Aiden strikes and takes the first life. Yes, I'm so excited to see, 
I'm so excited to see Spider-Man 2. I got A-list, so I'll be able to go see them all. I saw Spider-Man 1 this week. That was fantastic, of course, as always. But there's just something different about seeing it in theaters. Trevor May... Trevor Mayonnaise says, I miss Nickelodeon Slime Time. Yes, I miss Nickelodeon Slime Time as well. I think as a kid, we all wished to get slimed. And apparently now you can buy Nickelodeon Slime with the other slime that you get from the stores. But let's be honest, it's just not the same as opening up a box or a door and getting hit by a cannon of slime and knocked to the ground. Welcome, welcome, Trevor. Very glad to have you here, my friend. Oh, and I missed when it happened, but Aiden did, uh, or Tails did stock Aiden. So this is a two stock game. The three stock is off the table. Trying to take my sock off. Had it on for way too. Oh, freedom! This slime is just repackaged green ketchup from 2005. Do not let them fool you. Does it say do not let them fool you or do not let them food you? Because I do not want to be fooded with the green ketchup. And just like that, Banjo wins. Well played, well played, well played. And Aiden takes the dub. Good job, both of you. Good job, Tails. Hey, and we hit 10 concurrent viewers. Welcome, 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 everybody. All right. I am up against Banjo. That was my, uh, my mouth impression of a Banjo. We're not going to question it. I don't... We know it wasn't the best. <laughs> well, I will take this moment and say, if you are watching and you have not yet dropped a like, please feel free to drop a like. They are always encouraged, but never required. They just help us with the algorithm, which lets us get more views, bring more people into the lobby, yada, yada, yada. Of course, I am just happy you are here. So if you are a lurker, not commenting, not whatever, just watching the stream, just vibing. Just have us on as your background noise or whatever. You are equally as appreciated. I'm glad you are here. But let's go beat up a bear and a chicken. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to dodge. Punch through those eggs. Nice. Whoa, oh shoot, that was on my side. I bumped my mouse, and so it went from full. Oh shoot, again! Oh man, that was a dizzying experience. Well played, well played, well played.
What? Oh. That's a sock. I was hoping I could get hit by the egg. All right, well here, let's just. Well played, well played, well played, Aiden. I did not see the chance, but at least the three sock was off the table. All right, let's see here. Trevor says his dad works at Heinz, so he told him about the weird catch-up thing. Uh, Tyson says GGs. Aiden, very nice. What came first, the bear or the chicken? The man-bear pig. That was easy. Uh... Tyson says the cat box. All right, Aiden and Ink, you guys are good to start this battle. All right, have fun with the trout, Trapper. Can't do this right now. Three, I'll catch you on the next. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next stream, hopefully. Yeah, I am losing it. I am losing it. Tyson's right. All right, all right, all right. Aiden blocks the cannonball with the crown. Ooh, nice prediction. Ink at 130, playing this ledge like a harp. 157, still not stocked, fighting off this ledge. I swear, Aiden might only be at 29, but finally at 190, takes Ink's first stock. That first life felt a lot closer than it was. Yeah, I feel like it was a lot of this. A lot of both players dodging and throwing punches and attempting to hit each other.
Man, I cannot believe we have been running Smash for an hour already. Almost. Smash started... The stream started an hour 10, but Smash started 50 minutes ago. 5-0. It is going to be a shorter stream for me tonight. I'm probably going to get a few more games in. Probably like 45 minutes total after this. Uh, which, you know, I think you understand. I have been driving and working and driving and working and driving and working. But I almost stayed in the city tonight, but I was like, nah, I gotta make it to my peeps. Last week was the first Friday. I said this would be a regular thing. I can't miss. I can't miss. But no, I am glad to be here. I'm glad to see all of you. Definitely a nice breath of fresh air. And just like that. Oh! And Aiden comes back for vengeance. No, yeah, sleep is important. No, you're wrong. I'm gonna get good sleep. I'm just, you know. Last time I ran the stream until what, 2? You know, or until like 11.30 my time. So it's 10.40 right now. Kazooie is actually a red-crested Breagle, a made-up bird species. That's fun. It's like a seagull, but a Breagle. You guys are good to start this battle, by the way. I am in the greater Chicago area, or the Chicagoland area, as some people call it. I was working in the city, and it's Friday night, so it took like an hour 40 to get back home. Alright, Caitlyn at 26%, 28%, 32%, Aiden at 12 Caitlyn trying to rock this Lucas here. That's not something we normally see her whip out. Let's see if she's got some new tricks up her sleeves. Ooh! And connects with the PK Thunder. It's your job. I am a media professional. Mostly a full-time voice actor. But, oh yeah, I have, I have two voiceover gigs I have to do tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you for reminding me. Because, yeah, two gigs came in while I was in the city yesterday. And I was like, I'm not going to be home until Saturday. But uh, I am a full-time media professional, so I was running AV, audio video. I was actually on OBS all day uh, yesterday and today for a conference in Chicago for a bunch of lawyers and government people. So that was fun. And professors. Uh, but I guess all law professors are lawyers, so saying lawyers was actually correct still. Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. L.A. traffic's wild. L.A. traffic's like Chicago rush hour traffic, but all the time. Ooh! Ooh! Caitlyn connects with the PK freeze on Aiden. But yeah, I do voiceover. I do, you know, I've worked, I've done the motion capture for Super Bowl commercials. I've worked on T-Mobile commercials on the set. Uh, film short films, direct, uh, post sound. I'm, I'm mixing the sound on movie right now, on two movies right now. Anything media related, I do. Just like that, Aiden is down to one stock. Caitlyn rocking two at 71% with this Lucas. And connects with the PK Thunder. What's that called? Is there like a special name for that when you PK Thunder yourself? Oh, no like big movies. These are like, like $100,000 movies, six-figure movies. 
which is like a lot, you know, in everyday life. But for a movie, that's that's nothing, you know. So it's just a uh, just local films. Zack for Spider-Man 4. A hey! Spider-Man, my Spider-Man fan films finally moving forward. It has been a long road. It started it like at the end of 2019 before COVID. And making a documentary concurrently while making Spider-Man called Fan Film. The documentary is called Fan Film. Nah, I wish. My voiceover work is like boring. It's not boring, but like, uh, and just like that, Caitlin at a smoking hot 192% on that second stock takes the dub. But no, so like I just did, uh, I had a rap in Italian. For some music producer in Italy. I don't speak Italian, so that was that was interesting. Uh, you know, a lot of random stuff like that. A lot of corporate presentations. Short films. Those are, you know, those get more fun. I have, an, I have a, a short that I'm voicing some monsters in coming up. So I'm excited about that. Caitlin Daniel, you guys are good to start this game. Yeah, no, a lot of people book me for their indie games, and then I record my stuff, and it's awesome, and then the game never comes out because it's an indie game. And indie dev is hard and takes commitment. Oof. 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 88% to zero right now on Daniel... 100% to 0, 102, 109. Let's go, Caitlin. There we go. And just like that, the 0% is off the table, which does eliminate a move from Link's arsenal, which is convenient. Good dodge, Daniel. Oh no! Oh, never mind. I thought you went the wrong way. And just like that, that was really the first stock? I thought a stock had been taken from one of you a bit ago. Oof. That's good. School is part of stuff like that? No, 100%. Yeah, I'm super blessed to love what I do. Ooh, that was almost a stock. Shooting the arrows out of the air. Let's go. Caitlin's still trying to eliminate the three stock. Daniel's rocking a smoky 138. Caitlin now at 85% under second stock. And just like that, the three stock is off the table for both players. My nose is itchy. It's like right at the what, what's this called septum right it's like right at the septum drive me crazy oh and just like that caitlin takes the lead 
Not sure what happened on that stock there with Daniel. And it is a one stock double zero percent game. As if both players had just started a 1v1 match. Let's go. Both players right around 20. Nice bomb counter. Bringing Caitlyn up to 8, 28, 37, 19 for Daniel. A nice boomerang hit. PK freeze! Oh, I thought you aimed it too low. Oh, and the bomb K. Oh, 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 my gosh. What a sick dub for Daniel. Well played, both of you. Well played. I give it. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, seven, eight, eight, eight flaming smash balls, balls, balls. I'm vibing with this music. All right, we got Tyson versus Daniel. Let's go. You guys are good to start this battle. Link versus K. Rule, and you know what? It fits. I feel like K. Rule could be a Zelda villain. And just like that, 0% is off the table for Daniel, so he can no longer use his uh, projectile sword. really does look like he could be a Zelda villain. And just like that, Daniel has taken the first stock. And Tyson chilling at 31% on this second stock already. However, Daniel at 78% on his first stock. Definitely a stockable amount for K. Rule. Almost does right there. But Daniel does get the ledger cover and dodges the... Oops. Dodges that vacuum cleaner of a uh, blunderbuss. Right? He could be a Lizofalo. And it is now a two stock game. 115 for Tyson and 0 for Daniel. 128 now for Tyson. However, we know how much of a tank K rule can be. So this difference is not as big as it may seem if. However, Daniel, if he keeps... Jeez, I'm struggling. If Daniel keeps... If Daniel keeps picking away at Tyson, that difference is going to get closer and closer to being stockable. Or easily stockable. There we go. And just like that, another one stock game at double zeros for both players. Give me five seconds. I'm gonna see if I have pajama pants down here because these jeans are leg prisons.
I did not have PJs lying around right here, but I have loose joggers, so I will take it. So much better. All right. Let's go, Daniel. Cloud9 dropped six stars. That's five more than are in this solar system. Two, one, go! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! I tried to get cute with it, I should've just went for the ledge. Get out. Ah, oh, dang it, that wasn't a miss input. That was the bomb knocking me back. That was my fault. I wish it was a miss input. Oh, what? Okay, let's get rid of you. Oh, mistimed it! There we go. Oof. Well played, Daniel. Good game, good game, good game. Yeah, the three stock was off the table, so I will take that. I give you four flaming smash balls. I'm vibing. All right, and just like this, Aiden is back up to the front. Don't start just yet. Give me one second, one second, one second. I hope the stream delay didn't get in the way of that. All right, you guys are good to start this battle. Ready? Okay. My water's empty. BR. Mason Conrad is calling. We will call him back in a minute. Oh, what happened? I'm timed out. Uh, you guys are good to start this battle. Tyson and Aiden. Alright, I'm going to grab water.
goodness. I'm here. That was great timing. I need a new water filter because that filled up so slow. That filled up so... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't close the arena. Hey, Pathos Vault. Welcome, welcome. Ready? And I grabbed a cookie. Grab it! Don't throw a punch! Okay, well, that's gone. Oh, I didn't think you would keep holding it. Okay, zero, zero. I'm okay with that. Oh! Oof. Oh, come on, min, min Okay, that one was a miss input. But that's okay. I tried to jump over it. Dragon's breath. Where was the... Dang it! Well played, well played, Tyson. Good game. Got in a little groove there for a while, but it wasn't enough. Let's see, Min Min. Oh, would you like good time? Oh, I gotta go, bye. Alright, later, Volty. Glad you were able to join for at least a little bit. You guys are good to start this battle. Also got a little protein shake, because why not? Need the energies. It's not just protein though, it's like a bunch of vitamins and stuff. Link versus K rule. I would love a mashup game, honestly. It gives us an excuse. You know, we have Mario X Donkey Kong. Like a Zelda. A Zelda X Donkey Kong.
you know, it allow us to get a little darker than a regular Donkey Kong game. At the same time, a little lighter than your standard Zelda game. Nice balance. You know, I would love to see DK or K. Rule leading it like a, like as the the Stalfos King, or Lazalfalo, not Stalfos, is it skeletons? That'd be a vibe. Ooh, and Tyson takes a low percentage stock with some really good ledge play. Daniel now trying to dish out the pain to make this an even game, and take away Tyson's lead. But can he do it? Let's go, this is a close game. All right, Daniel is starting to put a pretty decent percentage difference between the, and just as I say that, Tyson begins to close it up quickly. Tyson flying off the right side of the stage. Daniel trying to get the finish. He might with the bomb, he connects. But K. Rule does make it back to the stage. 146 for Tyson. And will that bomb do it? No, K. Rule is back again. And Daniel finishes him off. Well played. Well played. Good game, both of you. Good game, both of you. Honestly, I feel like that just kind of deserves a little ring fit guy. Or not ring fit. The little, uh, uh, labo. Dude. All right, Caitlin versus Daniel. You guys are good to start this match. Two, one, go! All right, both players at 48%. Yo, what up, legend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Long time no see. How you doing? Ooh, this music's a vibe too. Oh, and Daniel wasted a sleep. Or a misconnected sleep, I should say.
can't hear the music. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see here. Yeah, it has been a minute. So this is the new this is the new weekly stream. If I do this for a month, I'm gonna add another one on like Tuesdays. When it'll be a slightly earlier. So I don't know if you know who Mike Odyssey is. He's got like 40,000, 50,000? I always forget. Uh, but he's got a good amount of subscribers. Uh, but he does a weekly podcast on Friday nights called the Topics Podcast. And since January, I have been a co-host. And so I'm doing that every Friday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time. And so I do this pod, I do this stream right after the podcast ends so this is always going to be happening around 9 30 or so well played well played well played Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Good game, Daniel. Good game. Hmm. All right, you guys are good to start this battle. see something here application audio output capture Spotify Sorry. Hmm, interesting. do that we're going to mute desktop audio and then we're going to turn on the capture card all right so stuff should have got wonky for a minute but tell me you guys can hear music and the game right and me oh my lighting's horrendous so bright. Well, that looks way better. There we go. At least it's looking better. My hair is like split down the middle from this headset in the car.
Oh, there's my energy. I just needed some protein and cookies. Sweet. Okay, yeah, this is way better for me because it's not desktop audio anymore. So they're separate sources. All right, and we don't need the names. Or the list. Where's the list? I see names. Oh, wait, that's my name. Oops. Good game, good game. Someone's gonna take you down. Or not, we'll see. I hope so, and I hope it's me, but, uh, well, the way this has been going. No, for real, where's... Well, I'll figure that out later. Pull up game capture. Let's do this. He says, you lost your groove. I'm sorry, you threw off the Emperor's groove. Sorry! I keep finding my groove in spurts. I'm trying to get like a whole good game. Well played, well played, well played. the boomerang coming back which you know it's kind of its whole thing but Once again, I'm holding up. That's not sideways, Min Min. Min Min, that's not sideways. Make me have to work extra hard for it. Go finally! Jeez, I needed that. I was getting more like. Aww. Well played, well played, well played, Daniel. Good game, good game. 
give you a winky Zack. Oh yeah, Emperor's new groove is goaded. All right, Tyson. Sorry, I took away your chance for revenge. Well played, well played, well played. missed oh no so close well played tyson well played oh man that had my that had my heart pumping let me tell you good game you give it five flaming smash balls oh i feel i can feel the rust is finally coming off 
Good game. Yo, what up, Jaden? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, bro. You guys are good to start this battle, battle, battle. Let's go. Always with the smoothest tunes. Yeah, dude, you got here just in time for your love in this energy. Because I was... No freaking way. No freaking way. What a disgusting meteor off the ledge. Honestly disrespectful. He's going to try it again. No freaking way. What a fast game. Down to one final stock for Tyson. Well played, guys. Well played. But no, yeah, I was dead exhausted when I, <laughs> when I first started this stream. I was trying my best to commentate, and I was just like, and they're, uh, they're, they're fighting, I think. Oh, welcome, Justin. How you doing tonight? Oh, I just got back from Chicago. You guys are good to start this battle. I left yesterday morning, worked at conference, stayed there, worked it again today, and then came straight home. But while home, did a podcast. I had my phone tied up with my phone cord to the mirror so that way i could join a podcast i was on the Topics podcast the whole drive home and then we started this so it has been other than a small break to sleep last night from like midnight until 5 a.m it has been non-stop since five yesterday morning Let's go. Whoa. Heck was that? Arrow air. Arrow air. 404 air. Not air. 404 not found. There we go. Uh, apparently you can tell I'm still. I'm, I don't feel as tired, but as my mouth tried to, to do some of that English speak, it became very evident that I apparently must have been tired still. So 40 air. 40 air. 04. Sound like a wannabe rapper. Error, 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 error. <laughs> -ta 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 -ta. Anyways. All right, let's go. It's a two stock game, but Aiden at a high 120 and stocked off the ledge. Tyson be staying with them ledge KOs. At least these last two games. My guy, stay busy. Yeah, I'm very excited to not be as busy this next week. This week has been the busiest week of my life. I have to film, or not film, uh, I have to do photography for a local prom tomorrow night. And that's like the last thing, that's the last like hard thing on the agenda. Concrete thing on the agenda that's like set in stone. I'm very happy about that. Good recovery by Aiden. Trying to drive Tyson off that left side for that stock to make it a one-stock game. But Tyson said, no, sir. And that is going to ooh, be the game. Well played, well played, well played, well played. Good games, fellas.
You guys are good to start this battle. It's almost midnight and I haven't done my Duolingo and I am not going to lose my streak. Alright, Tyson at 82% already. I feel like Tyson was like, alright, I'm on a roll. I can finally take Daniel down. And Daniel is just like, I'm going to end this streak of yours. But the game has just started. So let's see if Tyson can put that to rest. <laughs> Struggling to word. All right. Hey, Yes, He's nice. My older sister. There he goes. My mom is a. My daughter. Boom, that was easy. Ooh, what's that? What's that? 257 day streak? Let's go. Closing in on. Closing in on a year. Let me get that out of the way. Yo, and Tyson took the lead while I wasn't paying attention. What is going on here? What is going on? Daniel trying to make this a one stock game at 55% on his final stock and 150 on Tyson with two stock to go. 160 now on Tyson. One seventy and stocked, and it's a one stock game. How much of a difference does this fifty-five percent make? We'll see. Eighteen, twenty-four, twenty-nine, thirty-three, forty-two on Tyson. Fifty-four. Tyson finally answers back on Daniel, driving him to sixty-seven percent. Seventy, seventy-seven, ninety-three. Getting that percentage separation back. Daniel now answering back with bombs and boomerangs and arrows. Driving Tyson up to 72%. 106 on Daniel. 83 on Tyson. 105. Tyson narrowly dodges the bomb on his way back and does recover. Dodges the boomerang as well and takes the stock for the win. Daniel out the left side of the fray at 121%. What a game well played both of you well played i'm giving that however many flaming smash balls that that is that's 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 a number all right i'm kind of glad that that worked out because that is now set it up where i can go for my revenge game because i beat what was it daniel maybe daniel or someone that, or aiden it was daniel i think I don't know who it was. I can't keep up with these things. And Tyson was the one who took me down. Stopped me from going on a streak. Three, two, one, go! I always forget how far that freaking crowd goes.
Oh, I'm starting to remember things. Starting. Ooh! Well played, well played, well played. Oh, I thought that would have been done. Okay, don't dodge roll, even though you had time. That's fine, Minmin. So much range on that. Never get the timing on that. Dang it! Well played, well played, well played. Come on, Dragon's Breath. Why'd I drop the shield? I knew you were coming. was not worth the risk. That's game. That's game. Oh, no, it's... That's... That one is... Well played, well played, well played. It's like I'm remembering who I am though. I'm happy about this, I'm happy about this. I can feel the progress being made on my side. Ooh, we're at eight likes. Awesome, thank you guys. If you have not yet liked the stream, feel free to drop a like. They are always encouraged, never required. They just help us get more eyes on the stream, more people in these uh, lobbies. And yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you for the eight people who have dropped likes. Eight out of 10, that's an 80%. Let's go. You guys are good to start this battle. I got one game left in me. in the zero suit oh good reflect that was a short range one too oh no misses on the whatever the bouncy is called I don't, I don't know I don't rock zero suit That blue, though, does look so cool. Like, the, the after images. I'm a big fan of that animation. All 
All right, Caitlyn fighting to take the three stock off the table. Just like that, 109 for Tyson. 124. Caitlyn going for some wombo combo with zero suit and has SD'd. 146 for Tyson, zero for Caitlyn on this final stock. Trying to remove the option for the three stock. Wait, does the end of the barrel meteor smash? And just like that, the three stock is off the table. But what was up with that? Like, y'all saw that, right? How it, like, knocked Caitlyn down to the, the fray? Or down to the, the stage? Good game, good game, good game, both of you. Well done removing the three stock, Caitlyn. I'm vibing with this music. All right, you guys are good to start this battle, 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 battle. Ready? K rules just looking at Banjo like this is not the monkey I remember. What do you think the odds are that K rule thinks Banjo is a con? <laughs> I'd say they're pretty. I'd say they are. It is a non. Is a non-zero chance that K. Rule just assumes that Banjo is a Kong. Especially he was in Diddy Kong Racing too. I didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, there's there's no way K. Rule doesn't think he's a Kong. Hopefully for the next DK. Yo, I'm okay with that. Give me give me DK Banjo. DK Zelda. Give me DK Banjo and Zelda. All in the same game. Honestly, okay, so this is gonna sound weird, right? But we're we're having we're having br we're, this is a big brain conversation right now. So you know how Kirby's got like his group, like you got Kirby, and then you got Waddle D, and then uh, yeah, Kirby. You got Waddle D and DDD. You know, and that's like that's like the little trio. You know, I could I could kind of see it. You got you got DK and K Rule, and or not DK. Well, yeah, I guess you got. We got, D yeah, because you know how, how DDD is like uh, the enemy, but then like they team up. Like, because DDD is not actually really the enemy anymore, because he's like a cool king. So you got Donkey Kong and Banjo and Link and K. Rule. You know, going to. I don't even know what they're trying to do. Kirby and the Crystal Shard style, you know? Your crew just keeps growing as you progress through the world. Woo! Nice, nice. Yeah, three sock is off the table for both players. Aiden on the final life. Yo, what up, Jade? How you doing today? Mr. Beast bar you just ate gave you power. Dude, I keep meaning to get get one since the new recipe. I haven't tried them. I wonder if there's ever going to Donkey Kong Tropical Island 2. That would be so awesome. It's only a matter of time, right? 
That's how I feel about it, at least. Alright, chat, what is the... What's it called that Banjo's doing here when he's going to the side and losing a feather? Alright, is a one-stock game. Of course, 84% on Banjo, 0 on K. Rule. Wonder Wing, okay, yeah. So it is a one-stock game, but I believe Aiden only has one Wonder Wing remaining. That is the downside to falling behind is Banjo is those Wonder Wings do not replenish or come back. Oh, I'm getting the switch to day one for sure. For sure. Well played, you guys. Well played. All right, Jaden is up. What about you, Daniel? Switch to day one. Aiden says he's getting switched to day one. They're gonna get it when a big Zelda game comes out. That's fair. That is fair. Three, two, one, go! Depends on the lineup. All right, what if it's backwards compatible? Okay, what if there's no Zelda day one, but it's backwards compatible and is gonna play all your existing Switch games that you already have on your library in 4K? Then are you getting it day one for 4K Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? I can't, I 100% believe the only reason we haven't heard about Metroid Prime 4 yet is because they're going to announce the Switch 2 with it. Very tempting, but it'll depend on the price. I really hope it's not more than 400. Oh, nice reflect. Jaden fighting to avoid the three stock here. Oh, and that super armor, unfortunately, is too annoying. I feel your pain, Jaden. Tyson's done that to me like five times in this last week, in these last two streams. It's that dang super armor, let me tell you. All right. Tyson, have you beat Daniel tonight? Ready? I used to be good at breaking his super armor. I'm hoping that's the next thing that's coming. Cause I feel like I feel like I'm getting in the back in the swing of things these last two games specifically well these last two times I've been up Good read on the, 
the reflect, it was just slightly too far away. And Tyson says, excuse me, but I need to take the three stock off the table, so if you could respectfully let me beat in your face! Daniel now with both the percentage, well, and Tyson just took it back. Okay, Daniel now both with the percentage lead and the stock lead. So he's up by more than one whole stock at this point. 140 on K rule. 153, 154. But Daniel now all the way up to 104. K rule at 164, 175, 181, 113 for Daniel. Can Tyson take the stock off of Daniel before Daniel takes the stock off of him? That is the question. 128 on Link might be more impressive than the 181 on 193 on K Rule. Oh, and a bomb off the side of the stage. Well played, well played, well played. And just like that, Tyson removes the three stock. I just realized I say just like that a little too much, I think. All right, Tyson now trying to see reverse three stock. Can we do it? No, we can't. Well played, well played, Tyson. Well played, Daniel. We give you guys three flaming smash balls for the heart of the warrior. All right, Daniel. It's just me and you. Ready? It was like 50, it was over 50 last week. Excuse me, sir. Can you please let me back onto the stage? Thank you. Just saying, if, if the fist went through you, how did that shield block it? That, that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know, Daniel.
with the dragon's breath. All right. Good tack, unfortunately for me. What? me there if you would have did that move. played well played my friend oh my gosh i'm giving you three flaming smash balls and one cursed realistic thomas the tank engine face Good luck, Caitlin. Let's see if I can get a couple wins in a row. Let's string something together. <laughs> Everybody's like, every time I post that, Thomas, people are just like, what the heck is that? I hate it. Oh, so freaking funny. Get some good ledge defense. Okay. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Come here, little boy. I fundamentally disagree. So bouncy. Minmin, why'd you stop walking? Okay, let's just do some of that. Here's some of that. Some of that. 
one of those. One of the, oh. Thought I did up B, but okay. Okay. All right, one stock game. I didn't know where it was. <laughs> Good game, Caitlin. Good game. Well played, well played, well played. Give you four flaming smash balls. <laughs> what did I miss? I hate it. It's iconic. See the Thomas, the Thomas one. You can only, I can only break it out like once or twice, a, once or twice a stream, but it's always worth it. All right, good luck, Aiden. Ooh, this is a bop. executed. Saved your life.
shoot! Ah. Uh. I did the second I hit it. I don't know if you saw. If you go back and watch that, you will see I start shouting, no, 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 before Min Min even starts executing the down air. Oh. I was like, you got this. Oh, you don't actually. Oh, good game, everybody. Good game. All right, that is it for me. I am tired. However, I put myself in spectating so you guys can continue to battle. Tyson has an updated link for the Discord if anyone would like to join the Discord and coordinate more matches in there with each other. But I am calling it for the night because your boy is tarred. Your boy is big tarred. All right. Good luck, Tyson. Good luck, Aiden. Have a great match. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you next Friday at the Nintopics podcast on the Mike Odyssey channel at 7.30 Central Standard Time, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time, and 9.30 Eastern Time. And then, of course, immediately following that on another post-podcast stream, the post-podcast party, these Smash Ultimate streams. You guys have a great night, and I will catch you next time. Stay awesome. Is that what I do? I used to, I used to do double. I did, piece, I did the point. That's right. It doesn't work with how I'm sitting right now. Stay awesome. <laughs>